to the homestead. Today we're going to be taking advantage of this warm weather and working on our garden beds. Let's get going. In order to be taking advantage of the warm weather that we have this week, we're going to be taking the old plastic off our garden beds and adding to or removing our old drip system that we have so we can have more drip tape down for our garden bed this coming year. And then we're going to be getting our silage tarp over the garden bed so it helps kill any weeds so we're ready for spring. No way! Now where our garden is currently located has been just land that's been sitting vacant for a while. So the weed load is crazy that we're up against. So this year we are getting a silage tarp to help us maintain the load to help with the plastic here too. This just wasn't enough for us this year. So we're preparing for our silage tarp. Day two of putting the silage tarp down. Let's get started. We have half of the garden bed covered and we have a bunch of uh, drip tape over here that we need to check and roll up for to get it ready for spring. We ran out of light yesterday so we're going to get this done today and yeah we're going to get this done today. Now you may be wondering why we're doing this now in January. We're doing this now in January because the fall weather, um, it quickly turned to winter where we're located. Um, it was, it got really wet, really quick, and it also got really cold, really quick. So we was a little unprepared for how quick the weather changed for us, um, amongst of everything else getting ready for around the farm for the winter months. 
So this is why we're doing it now. But I honestly, I'm not mad at it because the weather outside, it feels amazing. It's a little cooler this morning, um, but eventually I'll be taking my coat off. Um, it might be down to a t-shirt again. I was in a t-shirt yesterday, but the colder weather, I like working in it a little bit better. The cooler weather, I like working in better than actually when it's a little bit hot or more, more humid, if that makes sense. Well, I'm officially hot, but I wanted to show you what we're doing for the center. So as you can see here, we have the two, um, two silage tarps coming together at the center. So what we're doing is, I like how Justin said it, we're treating it like a zipper. And by zipper, what we're doing is we're taking the one side. Okay, so let me explain it this way, I guess. The wind blows stronger from this direction, so with the other layer we're not putting it on top the bottom layer we're going to switch it if that makes any sense so, so we're tucking it to where the part that could blow up is actually on the bottom so it's a clean it's like a flat where it won't lift up does that make sense i hope i'm making sense um so what we're doing is so we don't walk all over the silage sharp is what we're doing is tucking this one down and then bringing this one over then placing our rock and then slowly working back so we don't have to walk all over the silage tarp and risk tearing it or getting it all filthy muddy so that's what we're doing here <laughs> We hope this video was helpful for your 2024 garden bed prep season. And hopefully you're excited just as much as we are to get started in our garden this year. 
So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be sure to catch us on our next video. You'll have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the next one. See you on the next one. God bless.